Dana with Not A Kiss. If you're watching this video, chances are you've said these words. I love my boat, but we hear you and we're here to help. In this series, we're going to examine the most common performance issues we hear about from boaters like you every day. If your boat has trouble getting on plane, rides with the bow in the air, bounces constantly, won't track straight or guzzles gasoline, or if you're just not feeling like you're getting the most out of it, I'm going to present a few ways to change I love my boat, but to I love my boat, period. By far the most common complaint we get among boat owners is that their boat is slow to get on plane. First, what does this mean? Getting on plane is the term used to describe the post-acceleration point at which the boat skims over the surface of the water instead of plowing through it. It's also referred to as achieving a level attitude or running angle. Struggling to get on plane is caused by a number of things. Most often, it's due to excess weight at the stern. Nearly all outboard or stern drive boats are stern heavy. The addition of trolling motors, jack plates, bait tanks, etc. add to the problem. If getting on plane more quickly is your dilemma, here are a few things to consider when selecting a planing device. A popular fix for this problem is a hydrofoil. The device is shaped like a wing and attaches to the motor's cavitation flange using through bolts. It works by providing extra lift at the stern to help the boat get on plane. Hydrofoils are often marketed as stabilizer systems, but this is misleading. As you can see, this device is mounted in the center of the stern, which offers no side-to-side -side stability at all. In fact, this can create more imbalance and produce a teeter-totter effect. Also, hydrofoils are not adjustable, so the amount of lift increases as the boat speed increases. This can cause the bow to plow down into the water, reducing top speed and fuel economy, and list to the port side. So, although hydrofoils do live up to their claim as planing devices, they do little else to improve the boat's overall performance. Another option for getting your boat on plane is trim tabs. Trim tabs are mounted on both sides of the transom, flush with the bottom of the boat hull. They work by adjusting down during acceleration to create an extra lift at the stern, similar to flaps on airplane wings. The advantage over hydrofoils is that once the boat is on plane, trim tabs are designed to retract and keep the bow from plowing. Trim tabs come in various sizes and configurations. Helm-controlled trim tabs use electric or hydraulic power and are often standard for larger craft 26 feet and up. Self-adjusting trim tabs use either a coil spring or pneumatic gas and are highly effective on smaller craft for a fraction of the cost. Nauticus was the first developer to bring automatic trim tabs to the market. Smart tabs use a nitrogen gas actuator and have been the industry leader in self-adjusting trim tabs for over 20 years. A word of caution, hydrofoils and trim tabs don't mix. Choose one or the other. If you choose Nauticus smart tabs, you will have made a smart choice. In our next video, we'll talk about motor trim. Thanks for watching.